back to BochinaandBochina.com. My name is Nicole. So with everything that has gone on over the world the past several months, I did get asked a few times to try and make a macrame mask. I was skeptical at first since I didn't know how it would turn out with macrame, but I did attempt it for the very first time and I would say that it was good. I would definitely use this. I would say it is definitely more on the bulky end though, since I've used the thinnest cord that I have, which is three millimeter single strand cotton cord, but it does give it a very bulky look. I would say that the perfect size for this type of pattern would be a two millimeter cord size, which is just one millimeter down from the one I've used. So if you have two millimeter at home, I would recommend using that instead of the three millimeter. It would definitely make it less bulky and make it a little bit more bendable and more comfortable to wear. And after all, that's what we're trying to go for, aren't we? So you can't use the macrame mask, so just the macrame itself, just because there are a ton of larger holes in between the knots and that would basically defeat the purpose of wearing a mask in the first place if it's not really protecting you or protecting anybody. So you will need to hand sew a piece of fabric onto the back of the mask. I've sewed along the bottom, side, and top edges, leaving one side free so that there's a little pocket where you can add an additional filter into the mask if you'd like. So the great thing about this pattern is that it is adjustable on the side of your ears. So we tied some knots to make sure that it is adjustable on both sides. And we've also tied the string together at the back so that you can wear it as a necklace if you aren't using the mask on your face at that point in time. And another great feature is that there is a wire at the top so that you can bend it however you want to fit your nose area, which is especially important for this pattern since the cord is a little bulky, so it's not going to bend to your face as easily, so having the wire there is important. I will show you guys throughout the tutorial how to make each one of these things onto this macrame mask, so make sure you stay tuned and watch throughout the video. With everything that's going on, I know we have to try our best to take appropriate precautions in trying to prevent the spread of COVID and to make sure that we stay safe and keep others safe from it as well. With second and third lockdowns happening all over the world right now, you might be looking for a fun little project to do when you're bored and why not make a little mask that is not only practical, but fun to make. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you click subscribe to follow on for more macrame tutorials. And with that, let's begin. Before we begin, you will need some materials and supplies. Like I mentioned in the intro, we will be using 3mm single strand cord for this particular pattern. The cord we will be using today is a 3mm single strand cord from my rainbow cord line in the color Silver Fox. This color also is spun with some silver metallics with the thread, giving the cord a little sparkle. This cord comes in three different sizes, 3mm, 4mm, and 5mm, and comes in a variety of different colors from blush pink all the way to sage green and mustard. There's also several colors just like the silver fox and the black and gold i have here that are spun with metallics if you guys are interested in this cord line check out amazon and the bochi knot shop i'll post links to both of these in the video description below you will also need a small piece of wire for the top part of the mask. I've used some jewelry wire. You want something not super thin so that it can hold shape. I found these at my local craft store in the jewelry aisle. So other than cord and wire, you will also need measuring tape and some scissors to measure out and cut the wire and cording. 
To begin, we're going to start off with a strand of cord at 110 centimeters long, and we're going to fold it in half to determine where the middle of the cord is. That is where we're going to insert the wire at 12 centimeters long. We're going to try to place the wire in between the cord so as to hide it from sticking out. So on one end, take the one end of the cord and try and find the middle and weave it through. Take the other end of the wire and weave it through the other side of the loop. Once it's in between the cord, we're going to take both ends of the wire and fold up a section of it at the end. Like I mentioned before, this wire is great for this pattern or for any mask pattern, just so that you can shape the nose part of the mask to prevent it from sticking out too far, which adds extra protection. The wire part in the center is going to curve like so, and then we're going to attach the other cords onto this horizontal cord. So taking a strand of cord at 100 centimeters long, we're going to make a reverse lark's head knot in the center with this horizontal cord as the anchor cord. Take another strand of a 100 centimeter long cord and make another reverse lark's head knot beside the one we just made. We're going to add a total of 18 strands of 100 centimeter long cords and attach it onto this horizontal cord using reverse lark's head knots. So ensuring that the wire is in the center and that there are nine cords on the left side and nine cords attached on the right side from the middle. Now we're going to start the body of the mass pattern which is going to be made with a series of square knots. We're going to count the cords so that we find the middle eight cords, then taking the middle left four cords, we're going to make a square knot. Take the next four cords to the left and make another square knot. Then repeat on the right side with the middle right four cords for a square knot and then one more square knot to the right.
add three alternating square knots underneath this top row of four square knots. The top four square knots were added so that it gives a little bit of a bridge on the nose part of the mask so that it is raised a little higher than the rest of the macrame pattern. So I've chosen to make a square knot pattern for the macrame mask. There are other patterns that you can use to make the body of the mask, like a double half inch knot pattern that will probably minimize the number of holes there are in between the knots since the double half inch knots are a little tighter. But that also means that the mask may be a little thicker as well, so I would recommend using a thinner cord at one millimeter or two millimeters to make the mask if you're going to use double half inch knots in your pattern. Then finish off with square knots with the remaining cords in this row all the way to the left and all the way to the right. So underneath the so underneath the top left square knot, take the two cords underneath on the left side and then the two cords next to it on the left, make a square knot and then repeat on the right side. Finish off the left side with two square knots and then repeat on the right side with two square knots. Starting on the left side, add an alternating square knot row. So underneath the left two square knots, add an alternating square knot, then continue to the right. For a total of eight square knots in this row. Once this row is complete all the way to the right, start with the far left four cords again and make another row of square knots all the way to the right. Ensure that when you are starting and finishing a row that the far left and far right square knots are nice and tight. If you forget to do this at the beginning, we will be able to fix this at the very end. This is to ensure that the sides are nice and tight so that it curves inward on the sides. Once the third row from the left is complete, we're going to add another two alternating square knot rows underneath. Note that I added a total of 11 square knot rows from left to right, not including the top row. 
I found that the mask was a little too long for me. So if you do have a smaller face or you want it so that it fits better, I would deduct a row from the total row count that I have for this pattern. Finish off this row and add one more row underneath. And then once the fifth row from the left is complete as well, add a total of six more rows from left to right, ensuring that the far left and far right square knots are nice and tight. Once we have completed all 11 rows from left to right, including that top row that has four square knots, we're going to add one last row at the bottom, but we're going to start two square knots in to the pattern from the left. So underneath the second and third square knots from the left, make a square knot. Then continue to the right for a total of six square knots. Now we're going to seal the bottom of the mask with another strand of 110 centimeter cord as the anchor cord for a row of double half inch knots. Placing the cord on top of the vertical cords at the bottom, starting with the far left cord, we're going to make a double half inch knot onto the horizontal anchor cord. Ensure that the knot is tied tightly. Then we're going to continue to the right with the next vertical cord for another double half inch knot. And then we're going to continue to the right until all vertical cords are attached onto the horizontal cord using double half inch knots. Cut off the excess fringe at the bottom, leaving about a centimeter or two of space at the bottom. We will be tucking the excess fringe at the bottom inwards inside of the mask so that we can sew on top of it so that it does not fall down.
Also make sure that the wire at the top of the mask is well hidden and if it is sticking out, ensure that you readjust the wire at the ends and with the hook at the end of each side, hook it onto the outer macrame so that it stays in place. We're now going to work on the straps to make them adjustable so you can loosen or tighten them up when you place them on your ears. What we're going to do is make a coil or barrel knot onto the top cord with the bottom cord. Take the bottom cord and wrap it around the top cord four times, then taking that same working cord, take it back up inside and weave the cord end through the hole from inside to out. Then pull on the knot to tighten. Repeat the same on the other end by taking the bottom cord and making a coil knot onto the top cord. Then we're going to take the working cords from each of the barrel knots and we're going to tie an overhand knot with that same working cord on both sides. So ensure that you're not tying it with the cord that slides, you're using the working cord to make the overhand knot. Then we're going to cut off the excess working cords on both sides, ensuring that the anchor cords, the cord in which the knot slides on, stays as is. Then at the ends of both anchor cords make one overhand knot. So you remember when I said before that the sides should be tight from the square knots? If they aren't tight on yours, you can fix that now by pulling from top to bottom on the right side and on the left side, shifting the cords and making sure that the far right cords are nice and tight. There should not be any spaces on the far right sides. If you do end up with extra room at the very bottom, 
you can untie the far right double half hitch knot and retie it. Now that we're done with the actual macrame itself, we're going to add on the fabric backing to the mask. I've cut out a piece of fabric at 18 centimeter wide and 13 centimeters in length. You will also need some thread and a needle to hand sew the fabric onto the back of the macrame. What we're going to do is take the macrame mask, turn it upside down, and if the bottom fringe hasn't been folded up already, fold it up again to make sure that the fringe is facing upwards. Then thread some thread through your needle. I've used two ply thread as one strand of thread for my needle. So I've taken one strand of thread, folded it in half, and weaved the loop through the hole. And then starting on one side of the pattern, we're going to sew the bottom fringe so that it stays as is facing upwards. We're going to hold the extra fringe in place. To do this, we're going to sew one section at a time directly underneath the double half hitch knot and right where the start of the fringe is. so that we can hold the fringe in place. We're going to sew it back over to the left and then a little more over to the right and then back over to the left and over to the right. And then we're going to repeat this pattern to the right all the way to the other side. Keep hand sewing this part all the way to the right side. Once you've reached the other side and there should be a horizontal curved line from left to right where you had hand sewn the fringe, we're going to make a double overhand knot to seal the other end.
now we're going to take the fabric and place it on top of the inner mask where it's going to go and then we're going to trace the mask so that we can cut and trim the fabric so that it is the same size as the mask. Once it is traced, follow the outline and cut the fabric. Continue trimming and cutting until it fits on the inside of the mask. Now we are going to sew the top and bottom and one side of the fabric onto the back of the mask. Starting with the bottom, on one end, we're going to sew all the way across. The sewing should look like little dashes all the way across. You sew down, then sew back up. Continue all the way across, sewing these little dashes. When complete, this is what it should look like. Repeat on the opposite end, so the top of the mask, all the way from left to right. Now that the top and bottom are complete, we're going to do the same thing on one side. And I'm going to hand sew the side on the right and leave the side on the left open for a pocket to add in an extra filter. And 
this is what the end result should look like. On the right, it's hand sewn, and on the left, it's open since there's a little pocket for an extra filter. And that's a wrap with the macrame mask tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and got something out of it. I especially like that the mask was adjustable. The adjustable part of it is really just a coil or barrel knot made onto another strand of cord. And that is a helpful knot to know when you want to make things that slide. So when you're making bag straps that are adjustable, this is a great knot for that as well. If you guys do decide to make this macrame mask or a version of your own, that's great. Please make sure you tag me on Instagram as I would love to see you guys' creations. Let me know in the comment section below what other DIY macrame projects you guys want to see. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.